Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio. I'm continuing with the Flappy Bird tutorial series to add high score to the game. And if you're ready to get flapping, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Unity and we need to go ahead and set up high score. I've gone ahead and in my Game Over UI, I've added two pieces of text, one for high score and one for the number of high score. Now, before we do anything, we need to go ahead and get player prefs of an int value, okay? I'm just doing that in my detect pipes because that's where I'm handling the game over and the score. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a state. And I wanna do this before my listen for pipes. So we need to detect to see what our high score is on our device. Let's go ahead and have this be get high score. And I'm gonna have this be the start state. So I'm gonna have this be the start state instead of listen for pipes. So let's go ahead and move this down. I'm gonna do a finished transition and go off to listen for pipes. Okay, so what are we doing in get high score? Well, we need to get our player prefs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a player prefs get int. So our high score is going to be an int value, which is a whole number. And here we need to get a key. So the key count is the number of keys. So keys are the stored information that's on our device. So it could be the high score, it could be the number of lives that you have left, any kind of number of things. But in this case, we're just using this for high score. So we're just gonna do a count of one. We're gonna create a new key and we're gonna call this high score. Cool. So this is the, the piece of information that's saved on our device. Now we're gathering that piece of information and we need to store it as something that our game will be able to use. So here we're gonna create a new variable and we're gonna just call this high score num. Cool. Now that we have that, we are gathering it and then we're going off to our game, all right? So the next thing we need to do is before we get to our game over, we're listening to see if we get through one of the pipes or if we hit one of the pipes. If we get through, we're adding to our score and we're using pipe score to save that as. Then we're going right back to listen for pipes. And if we do hit one of the pipes, we're going to game over. So before we get the game over, what we need to do is we need to do a score check. We need to see what our high score number is and we need to get that player pref high score number and then we need to check it against our pipe score number. And here we're gonna do the score check. So I'm gonna go ahead and just call this score check. And I'm gonna do a int compare. And what I wanna do is I wanna check my pipe score because that's the number that I'm continually updating. So my pipe score, I wanna check that against my high score number. So if my pipe score is greater, then I'm gonna to add to my high score. If it's equal or less, then I'm just gonna bypass that and go directly to game over. So here, if it's equal, we're gonna go directly to game over, add that transition. If it's less than, we're gonna to go to game over, again, just bypassing. And if it's greater, then we're gonna to go to a new state where we're gonna update that high score. If it's greater, let's do a new event and we'll call this add to high score. Add that transition. If our number is equal or less than, we're just gonna bypass and go directly to game over. If it's not, then we need to go to a new state. This new state will have this be update high score. Cool. And of course we need to, from our game over, we need to go directly or from our listen to if we detect we hit a pipe, we need to go directly to the score check first before we go to game over. All right, so let's, in our update high score, what is it we're gonna do? Well, we want to first update our player prefs because we already know that we have a high score that's greater than what we've used before. So we need to update the player prefs and then we also need to update our high score in the game. So there's two different things there. So what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and update the player prefs first. So instead of getting the int value for our player prefs, we're going to set the player prefs int value. So player prefs set int. So I'm adding that in. Again, there's one key. So here we have the key of high score. So that's the key we're gonna update. So I'm gonna update high score with my pipe score value. That's where we're storing the existing game's number. So we're storing that as pipe score. We're gonna update our high score with our pipe score. We also need to take that pipe score and update our current high score that we're using inside the game. So what we're gonna do is do an set int value. So we're gonna take our high score number and we're going to update it with our pipe score number. And that's all we need to do. We're gonna add a finished transition then we're going off to game over. 
Cool. So in our game over, there's a couple things we need to do here as well. So we're taking and we're updating that high score number, but we need to go ahead and add that to our screen. So for us to be able to do that, we need to go ahead and convert an int value into a text string so that we can then update this text on our screen. So we're going to convert int to string, add that in. So we're gonna take our high score number, we're gonna create a new variable that is high score text. So we're taking our high score number, we're converting that over into a text string. Now we need to update our UI. So I wanna take my high score number, drag that down in, and what is it I wanna update? I wanna update text mesh pro. So I'm gonna set a property. What property is it that I wanna update? Well, I'm gonna scroll down this big long list and we wanna update the text that's there with that high score number. So we're updating a string value. So that's just text. And we're updating that with our high score text. So let's run through this real quick. We are getting our high score int value that is player press that's saved to our computer. We're gathering that, then we're going and playing the game. If it's game over, we're going to check our high score. If our high score is greater than our pipe score, then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to update our high score number. So we're updating both our player prefs so that we save that to the device, and then we're updating the number that we're using in the game. Once we've done that, then we're going over to converting that high score over to actual text that we can update our UI. Then we're setting our property of the text string of that to update the UI. Cool, now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn my UI back off. Let's go ahead and give it a test. So there you go. You see that I get, got through two pipes and my high score is updated to two as well. So there you go. And as you can see, I'm terrible at flappy birds. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time. <laughs>